All right, guys, check it out. Chevy Cruze 1.4. I'm gonna be taking that crank bolt out with no special tools needed. All you need is that belt. All right, guys, so it's gonna look like this from the top of the engine. That's how to set up the belt you need. And uh, let's go turn that bolt over. There we go. All right, guys, check it out. It's out. It's out, boys. It looks so easy taking this uh, crank bolt out with the right socket. I'll be replacing this bolt. There we go. All right guys, so we'll take out this alternator the back here, uh, two bolts right there. E16 is what we're gonna use. Just crack it open. And after that, we're just gonna use a ratchet. That was hard, that was easy. And then you just use a pry bar to pry it out. And then just let it rest at the back there. You don't want to take out those wires. So, All right, so pretty much a lot of uh, timing cover back here. It's all exposed now. We'll uh, work on the front here now. So we'll be working on this AC. Let's get down there. All right, guys, underneath the engine, we're going to get that plug right there. T55 on that one. That's the plug. We're going to take out and we'll put that special crank bolt pin to lock the crank. Just right underneath the AC. And maybe we have to take that AC pump off, off from the bracket. So let's see, uh, see how this thing go. All right, so that's loose now. We're going to use our hand to take them off. like that all right so this is the pin that we're gonna slide it in here all right I'm gonna put this crank pulley back in there and then just trying to wiggle the crank see if it's lock for sure Yeah, I can't turn to the right, but on the left, there's a play, probably about an inch, and you can hear that clunk. But if you go to the right, it won't turn. So, that's good. It's locked. It's locked, so that's good. All right, guys, so uh, I'll show you how to take out this uh, bolts right here for this uh, cam phaser sensor right there. So just use a uh, eight mil on those bolts, or uh, what's that, e, E11, you can use that. So you can see how this camphazer shape right there. Those are your timing. Shocks timing. Okay, so. You have to like rotate this like that and then pull it out.
make sure remember I believe they are different part number so make sure remember this one is for the intake rotate to the front and then pull it out that one's for the exhaust all right so we're gonna be taking out this hose right here this is the heater hose There you go. Bring that hose up so that it won't leak more anymore. And just let that one leak down. All right, so now we'll uh, take out the hose on this side. So on this side, um, there's a big clip right there. We'll pull that off and this hose will come out on this thermostat housing, okay? Although I don't wanna disturb this gasket in here. It's gonna leave it how it is. Up and just wiggle it, pull this thing out. It's gonna be a big mess. So here we go. Just let it drain. Here's my catch can right there. That's the shield underneath the oil pan. And then here's my catch bucket right there. That shield helps a lot. Just let it drain. Just let it tuck in underneath here with the hoses. All right guys, so taking out this water pump right here, there's about nine or 10 bolts all around. Want to use a, a eight mil or you can use a E11 socket. So just start working the way in. Nine and ten. There you go. So those are the ten bolts that you need to take out, and then it's all cracked loose now. So you just use your hand to uh, take out this uh, rest of the bolts. We're gonna be using this water pump. This water pump is good, and um, we're gonna just replace the the gasket. So remember where all those bolts is from because they're all different. So what I do is just loosen them off and then just leave it in there. And you, you take the water pump off together with the bolts. It is like that. More coolant is coming out. Let's take out this water pump now. All right, there is the water pump. This is why they said you need to take out this AC pump when you guys do the timing chain on this 1.4 because I'll tell you right here, this is your AC pump. This is the bracket in between the block, okay? So you can see the brackets is bolted into the block where the timing cover is right here. Same thing with this one bracket. There's a bolt in there bolted to the block. So we can't take out this cover because there's a bolt in there. And to take out this bolt, you have to take out the AC pump first. There's uh, three bolts that holds the AC pump and then there's three bolts that holds this bracket to the block so we had to uh, do this in order to remove these these and after that the cover and I thought it would be easy to take this out so but I guess you just had to follow the step to get to where you are all right so I'm down here underneath underneath the AC pump I'm gonna show you guys where there's bolts there's three bolts there's two down here 
and one up there so you can see the one's gone and then there's another one hiding from this angle it's right there at the back of this pump okay so that's the bolt down here there's two down here and I'll show you the one on up there sticking out so that's the three bolts that holds this AC pump to the bracket. We need to take those off. All right, so here's the position of my uh, ratchet to take out that bolt, the last bolt that holds the AC pump. You can put a little bit of extension, two inch extension with a small little socket, 13, and then just work, work your way in to get that last bolt. All right, make sure have this bolt hold this pump right here so that the pump is nice and squared off so it's easy for me to take this little tiny bolt back here all right guys so the AC pump is loose from the block you can see that bolt right there sticking out right there that's the last bolt that you need to take out there's three bolts hold that AC pump and now we'll be taking out this bracket right here all right so the three bolts that holds that bracket to the block you use a 13 millimeter socket there's two right here and there's one back there behind the hose right there so just need to uh, crack them loose and then just use your hand to uh, take out the bolt and that's the bracket right there okay so the shape that bolt goes in there just like that yeah it's a big mess in here so this is all the bolts that we need to take out all this here those are eight mil let's lose them already i just need to uh, crack the bolts down on the bottom and then there's like, what, what is that, um, 12 or 13? All right, so there's a little drain right here for a coolant. You need to uh, take this drain off so that it, when you take out the cover, you won't have any coolant going into your engine oil. Just had to uh, drain that off. like that so after draining it put the plug back in there all right guys show you the bolts that we need to take out in the oil pan here that attach to the timing cover so one right there there's one on this side it's out already one on the back here on the front and then one more right there okay right there so there's uh, four bolts here that were attached to the timing cover to the oil pan. And uh, while we're here, I'll show you the bolts from down here. There's a big bolt right there. You use um, 11 mil. There's a little tiny one right here, 8 mil right there. And then one down there. And then up there too right there those are the bolt down here and then after that this should be easy to come off